What's up guys? Welcome back. We're gonna do another dresser. This dresser was given to me by some friends that uh, were moving and stuff and they didn't want this so they asked if I wanted it and we can see it's in rough shape. Um, it's painted this ugly white color, knobs and all. Um, the top drawer is broken, which I do have the face for it. Here she is. Um, it's very chipped. It's got a lot of chips in it. It looks very thick. Um, but overall, it's a solid wood dresser. And it is cute. It's nice and small. You know, it's not very big. But it would be a cute dresser for, like, um, a nursery or just for a kid. So, I'm going to just do what I can with it and see what happens but first things first we gotta get the knobs off the knobs i'm probably not gonna keep i think they're just big old ugh, big circle wooden knobs so they're probably gonna go i'm probably just gonna buy new ones and we gotta strip all this gross paint off to see what we're working with so that's probably what we're gonna do so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and stop jabbing about it take this top drawer out so i can fix it it's i think it'll be easier to fix if everything's put back together so i'm going to try to glue that back on and then just start stripping the body of it i think we're going to change the little the trim piece on the bottom too the like decorative that stuff <laughs> um is kind of dated so i'll probably try to cut it and square it off um, to make it look a little more modern. So I've never done that before, but I see it done a lot. So I'm going to try it, but, um, yeah, let's stop talking and let's just get to doing it. I'm going to try to put that drawer back together first. All right. So a little piece of the drawer was like stuck in the dovetail. So I'm going to try to glue this back into place so that it's all there before I try to glue it onto the rest of the frame of the drawer so that we're not just missing a chunk out of there. I got a clamp. I got my glue. We're literally just going to glue it back on, clamp it down. So if I can get any air, get her good and settled in there. And then just use your clamp. I don't have any of those. Actually, I do, I think. Oh, this will work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just gonna clamp that down and once it's dry, we'll just glue her down like that. I'm gonna become a stripper for the day until this is gone, cause it's almost gone and then I'll have to go get more. Okay, I take that back. I'm gonna be a proper furniture flipper and wipe everything down first. Now we strip. I honestly have no idea if this is lead paint or not. It's turning very yellow. The stripper is turning yellow. So um, if you're doing this at home, just be aware that we have absolutely no idea what these things are painted with. Um, this could have been painted five years ago with cheap latex wall paint. It also could have been painted 40 years ago. I have no idea, but, um, I guess do it at your own risk. <laughs> We're going to let that sit for a little while till we can scrape her off. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get these knobs off okay this stripper has turned literally like neon green i don't know if you guys can see that the stripper's clear so that's a little concerning a little weird but um we're gonna get these get these knobs off of here okay 
the screws are like old and rusty so yeah these bad boys are old and they were painted with the knobs on so probably just gonna go in the burn pile so i'm gonna save the screws i like to save my screws for future projects just because sometimes you're missing a screw or something needs like screwed down or fixed and it's nice to just have them you know around these aren't even screws they're like bolts and this guy is stuck on there oh with paint looks like there's some pink paint underneath this white so that'll be fun okay I had to do two coats of stripper because I wasn't prepared for how thick this was, but we finally got some peelage. So let's get this, get this shit off of here. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Oh, look at that wood. That's like red cherry wood. Yeah, buddy. Okay guys, after I got all of that hard paint off the top, I went in with my orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper, I believe, and just went ahead and sanded it all smooth, got all the residue off of there, and we're sanding off the old stained finish that was on under the paint. So what I said was like cherry red looking wood. It's not, it's actually just like regular pine, but um, we're just taking it all down to raw wood. And this decorative piece along the bottom that I said I was gonna cut actually was just held on there with a few small nails. So I just took a screwdriver and we just pried it off. And the original, like just the frame of the dresser um, is already squared off and everything. So I just popped out those little brace pieces that are still stuck in there and it looked great. I also went ahead and fixed some of this water damage where it got kind of warped with just some glue and my little alligator clamps again. I just squeezed some glue down in those gaps as best I could and clamped it down all the way across. So it wasn't like perfect, but it at least flattened most of it back out. And after I got the rest of it stripped and sanded, we got all that white paint off. I brought it in the house to be a little bit cleaner and just did some touch up areas. I decided to wallpaper the side of this dresser because I had some cool stuff that I got on clearance at Walmart and I've been looking for a use for it. So I went ahead and wallpapered the sides and I ordered those new knobs that I was telling you guys about. And I'm a terrible vlogger, so I actually didn't get an outro before this thing sold. <laughs> but this is what it looked like. It came out really good. I love it. Hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next flip.